Well, good morning and welcome back to this uh, Daily Bark um, where we discuss composition and ideas about composition uh, specifically relating to visual art. Um, I want to touch base on meaning, clarity, and confidence because that's what we are all about here at the Academy. We love bringing artists in who maybe spent most of their life focusing on developing skill sets um, and get them to transition uh, their energy into developing a mindset and specifically the composer's mindset. Because again, skill sets are just the building that you build on top of the foundation. The mindset, the composition itself, is actually the foundation of the artwork. And so we want artists to kind of come back to a place where they begin to refocus on composing and also conceiving of the idea. So this is what Da Vinci said. He said um, that the conceiving, that the art is in the conceiving and the designing or composing, okay? Um, and not in the actual execution. So the execution is really where you develop your skill sets. If you want to be a master painter, you can be a master painter and develop that craft. If you want to be an architect or an interior designer or a fashion designer, an illustrator, whatever it is, you know, um, these these are the skill sets and, and these are the tools. You're going to have to learn the tools of that trade um, and master those, okay? But what they all have in common is a common language of composition and design. And so that's where we want to focus. So we want to be able to get a great idea wherever they come from, whoop, and then out onto paper. Once we have that blueprint, then you can begin to really apply your skill sets to actually construct the painting or the sculpture or the architecture or whatever. Um, and, that's, and that's basically the process. So where we come in is we help people, artists, focus on developing composition, okay? What we found is when dealing with uh, artists who come to this place where they're struggling, and the reason why they're struggling is because, you know, uh, they've developed these skill sets and they become really, really good at what they do. But they look at their artwork and they say, it, 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 there's no meaning to it. They haven't developed the mindset or, or the habits or the, or, or the ability to really push meaning into their work. Um, and so what that then leads them to doing, oftentimes is copying things or, or you know, or, or just mimicking stuff, but they don't really feel that they're putting themselves in their artwork. And so what we help them do is that we help them focus on understanding meaning, how do you inject meaning into it. So meaning could be a story that you're telling, okay? Um, it, so it could be a narrative. Um, it could be a sensation, a feeling that you're wanting to uh, communicate or share or evoke in your subject, you know, I mean, in your audience. Um, and so those are really like the two main ones that we would focus on is really trying to uh, trigger a response, trigger an emotion, um, or a narrative. And, and, and usually that's where we're working with. So. That's how we're going to do meaning. Now, once you have that and you understand what the meaning or the purpose of your piece is, then we have to go into this, the, uh, get clarity. We have to figure out, okay, if this is what I want you to feel, if this is what I want you to sense, if this is the story that I want to share, then how do I articulate it visually? And the way we learn that is you have to have the right information. You can sit there and practice and practice for 40 years and not get it if you don't have the right information. So we want to make sure that you get the right information so that you can have a language to begin to articulate visually um, uh, emotion or story, okay? And once you do that and you make those decisions, you, you, you see the information, you make the choices, you make the decisions of this is what I'm going to do. This is what the story is about. What we then do is, is build confidence. And, you know, when I was younger, one of the ways that I developed confidence in my work was I went to uh, um, Dorney Park. 
<laughs> and uh, I started working as a caricature artist. And they made us work in markers. And what I realized is when you start working in marker or pen, okay, um, you can't erase. And so you quickly develop confidence. So when you make that mark, that mark is done. You can't go back and erase it. It's done. And it takes a little while, but you end up building a confidence that when, you know, your mark is what it is and it is what you want it to be. And you keep practicing that. So I often encourage people to sketch with a pen or some type of uh, marking uh, uh, marking tool that doesn't erase okay so by eliminating that um, <clears throat> that option it causes you to step into a place that, that normally you'd be, you'd be very uncomfortable with but in that new place you begin to find a deeper sense of yourself a confidence a certainty a surety and that's uh, an amazing thing and it comes out in your work I mean I can look at someone's drawing and tell what they were thinking because of the lines so if the line is smooth that's one continuous thought but if it's like jaggy like this goes like this there's a jaggedness and there's a hesitancy through it there's uncertainty um, it's also when you when you see somebody's mark and then it stops and especially with a pen or even with a pencil it gets really dark and thick right in that moment in that spot and then they move off to somewhere else and so what happens is uh, this is really really cool because you get to see kind of like you get to see where they changed they had a thought and then they changed their thought and and that's really really awesome to see so um, that's what we do here at the Academy if you're interested in learning more information about this just have a uh, conversation if you know on Facebook just Facebook me um, message me we can talk about it what I like to do is look at people's work uh, we have a great conversation we can discuss what's working what's not working how to improve things um, and really find where you are you know some artists are uh, the meaning part isn't an issue for them they, they have great ideas they have, they're very clear on that um, what they have a hard time doing is uh, they lack confidence and they lack confidence in knowing exactly how to articulate this stuff visually and that's what we can help you do so um, again if you're interested in any of this kind of information if any of this is resonating with you have a conversation with me and then you know we can uh, take a either through Skype or just through the email and the phone or whatever uh, we can do an art assessment just look over your work and see how you're using composition where you're um, Usually there's probably like two or three major areas that people are weak in and so we can really just kind of get in there and focus and bring you up in those areas. Um, and in doing that, you're just going to grow in your confidence. You're going to be so excited because you're able to have great meaning uh, injected in your work. Uh, you're going to be able to see things far clearer and again, you're going to have this confidence and that's what we want and, um, and that's what we get. Talk to you later.